Earthquake Survival Triangle Most people try in vain to escape during an earthquake that strikes suddenly and within a very few seconds, and trying to escape often causes injury or death to people during an earthquake, either by falling or stampeding. According to the experience of those rescued from earthquakes, they found that most of the survivors were present at what they call the Triangle of Survival or the Triangle of Life, and this triangle forms next to home furniture such as sofas, beds, cabinets, washing machines, refrigerators, ovens, and kitchen shelves. After the ceiling falls, this triangle forms the empty space, under which one can hide, as the pictures show, while the middle of the room and the vacant places in the house are among the most dangerous places during the house's demolition as a result of the earthquake or tremors. During earthquakes, cats and dogs often sit in a fetal position, so you also have to do the same movement by getting around furniture that compresses under the weight of a collapse, as you can survive in a smaller void, Cobb added, according to Emergency Live. Sit next to something, next to a table, next to a big, huge object, next to anything that can leave a void next to it. If you are in bed during the night and an earthquake occurs, simply pull out the bed and roll around, as there will be a safe space next to the bottom of the bed. If an earthquake occurs while you're watching TV and you can't easily escape by walking out a door or a window, lie down and sit in the fetal position next to the couch. The Triangle of Life, What to Avoid in the Event of an Earthquake Just as the Triangle of Life theory advises ways to escape, it also advises places to stay away from, because it may be a cause of death, and among these tips. Never go to the stairs and stay near the outer walls. Staircases have a different pitch, as they oscillate separately from the main part of the building, so the staircase and the rest of the building continually bump into each other until a structural failure occurs in the staircase. Thus, people who go to the stairs before it collapses will face a bad fate, so stay away from the stairs even if the building does not collapse, it may collapse later, and therefore it must always be checked to ensure its safety, even if the rest of the building is not damaged. While it is advised to approach the outside walls of buildings or outside if possible, it is much better to be near the outside of a building than inside, as the more inside you are, the less likely you are to find an escape route. What should I do during an earthquake? According to the USGS, if you're indoors, stay there. Sit under a desk or table and hold onto it, or move around a hallway or against an interior wall. Stay away from windows, fireplaces, and heavy furniture or appliances, get out of the kitchen, it's a dangerous place, things can fall on you. Do not go downstairs or rush outside while the building is shaking or when there is a risk of falling and hurting yourself or being struck by falling glass or debris. If you are driving, stop, but with caution, move your vehicle as far from traffic as possible, and do not stop it or under a bridge, overpass, or under trees, lampposts, power lines, or signs. Stay inside your car until the shaking stops. When driving resumes, watch for curb brakes, loose rocks, and bumps in the road as you approach the bridge. If you are in a mountainous area, beware of falling rocks, landslides, trees, and other debris that can be dislodged by earthquakes. If you're near the ocean, check out these safety rules from the NOAA Tsunami Warning Center. You can found the sources of this video below in description. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.